Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Outlast 2. Last time we ended up here, uh, right outside Ethan's house, and he seemed very insistent on us coming inside before somebody saw us. Uh, he seems to be the first, like, not completely batshit insane character that we've met in this game, so... Uh, that's probably gonna change. Probably. Considering how this game has gone so oh, far. Oh, hey, hey there. You really busted your head open, didn't you? I'll be okay. I... I should head down the roof, sir. I'll bet down there. You can I'm not sure you're gonna be okay. This looks so. like a uh, concussion. Based on the double vision. Any papers? Do you have any food? At least he's not eating anything human. Hmm. Do I want to go down there, or is he... Eh, let's trust him. Let's go. It's alright. You just relax here, I'll keep you safe. You rest up, and heal. Ethan's gonna treat you right. Can't carry any more bandages. Do I need to heal? Nope. Because we dodged those. Monkeys with the lights over at the lake. Oh, sleep. No, I'm sure I'll be able to sleep. That's a great idea. Well, to be fair, he's probably exhausted, but... I don't know. This seems like a bad idea. Oh, here we go. So was that Jessica? Righteousness cannot pass in blood by loins, but the blood of your heart. I came Papa's gospel. I cop at him a hundred times. If I knew where the outsider was. The prophet don't need your help in finding the devil's whore and her up me. North questions even now other heretics at chapel. God will guide. I ain't a hurt! She's huge. No, the outsider is. Look at her. She's half His the size more than him. The enemy. God and the prophet both want. Just let me talk to you now. I can explain. She really does not like us. Don't hear dead men. Oh wow, she is strong. What the fuck is she? Still. Holy shit. Take your penance. God loves you. God loves you. Mm -hmm. Dude, she is huge. I hope you find your daughter. Who did I? Oh, I told. Oh, okay, I said it to him. Yeah, as I mentioned uh, in the last episode, we lied to him when he asked us. When he said uh, he described his daughter and said that she, he helped her escape, and we started asking if she's pre if she was pregnant. Uh, that was the girl that we came here. Not even though she. That's where this whole game started. Like, we came to investigate a young girl who had been pregnant and who had died. But they, in, I think they assumed that she had strangled herself, or that was the conclusion at the point. And uh, she had a lot of, what was it, quicksilver in her blood. So they said she had to have 
had to have lived downstream of a mine or something similar. So that was apparently her father. Um, yes, yeah, so we kind of lied to him, but oh well, because it doesn't matter now. Furthermore, that thing that just killed him cannot be human. There has to be something more going on here than just plain old simple we're all kooky kind of insanity. There's something supernatural going in, on here for sure. Oh, what's that? Oh, one of those. Nice light here, I don't need the camera yet. What was that sound? Why did it make that sound? Can't jump up. But I can walk. Again with the sound. Is there somebody near? Is that what the sound is? Or is he just... Spooky scary music for the same sake of spooky scary music. Okay, this is where it came from. I already got disoriented. here running for an extended amount will exhaust you do I need to get yeah. this will look more interesting yeah so much for looking interesting you still have to go there stop with the noise Who that? But it is joyous all, for we are in the sorrows of a travailing woman. From this arbor is a place of the breaking forth of yes, the children of hell, but also the opportunity of our salvation. For God is great, and Noth is his prophet, and Noth will ransom us from the power of the grave. Not will redeem us from death, for even redemption cannot be hid from the split eye. We are robed in the crimson glory of revelation. Okay, apparently they believe that Popanoff Popanoff is going to somehow bring them back from the dead, I assume. I don't know. It didn't feel like they were talking about eternal life either. Swimming is exhausting, but you can't have me drown here. There's a way up there. I might have to cross once again. Yep, seems like it. And um, that's a uh, fence. <sighs> that's a recording. Okay, hmm. So we know that the two tribes are fighting at least. The cults are fighting. I have a feeling we're going to see the results of that fight real soon. Fucking Christ! Oh wow, they gave him horns and everything. I'm gonna try to avoid filming anybody's penis for now. Ah. 
what, what? Okay. So heretic. Uh, I'm guessing either axe wielding lady or a group of the other. The other group, like the the people from the other cult, came through and decided that these guys should get horns and get barbecued. That guy's been there for a while. Oh, he's skinned. Ew. Can I get in here? The old lady left, right? Oh, is that cornfields? Yeah, that's cornfields. Oh, paper. Also, I learned something cool. Like, if I now hit tab, the chapel. and somebody there will know where they've taken Lynn. I review footage, and then I choose that one, and I hit space. I get clean text. Look at that. And I looked, and a gyre unwound from the night. A fire turned inward, burning from all directions towards the center, and drew the light from the walls of my room so that I hung in a void that shone in rainbows like oil upon a black mirror. And I looked despite the pain, and behold, out of the midst of the inward fire came the likeness of a creature, a figure as like to a man as a circle is to a sphere. As a cross-section of a sphere would make a circle, so the cross-section of this creature would make a man. Huh. And this was their appearance. They had the appearance of Jesus Christ's agony upon the cross, and in chest and sex had the appearance of a man. And their faces were innumerable and joined to one another, a thousand eyes and everything a mouth, with wings and jaws inseparable even in sight. And the purpose of the eyes and the purpose of the jaws were both for a more perfect consumption. Thus were their faces, and in the next moment they were the bones of the four horses of the apocalypse, and the bones of the horsemen too. And in the moment that followed their faces were the sex organs of angels, and in the moment that followed a bonfire of flame with voices singing in beauty to rend the mind, and in the moment that followed a reflection in slivered glass. For their faces were all of these things at once, and their wings were joined one to another, and as they flapped, wove to arrest time, and I could not take air into my body. Look, it sounds like a bad mushroom trip, for real. Does he have a comment on this? They flayed them. Nailed them to wood. She was just a kid. Who was just a kid? I don't think any of the people on the crosses were kids. What are you talking about? Oh... Wow, we've missed a lot of pages. Look at this. Two here. Three here. Well, guys, I hope you're watching another playthrough and not just mine, because you're only going to get half the story with me. Jeez. You start looking more carefully for the pages. You know what this need this game needs? It needs Witcher senses. Ah, oh, cornfields, man. That's an ominous reminder. That was just freaking ominous in general.
actually to him. Shit. Oh, go, 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 go. We must rise to face the There's no innocence among the outsiders in our midst. Give Where's them that for the knife, the club, the fist, if it's all you got. God rejoices in the spilling of wicked blood. The fuck, they're all around me, man. I don't know why I'm whispering. Jesus Christ. The game's getting to me, man. It's getting to me. Oh! Fuck! 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 Can't you just run and do that? Oh, you monkey! Oh! Fuck. I raised the old pulse. Stay down. I'm holding control. We must rise and face the sea. There's no enemies among the outsiders in our midst. Give them the knife, the club, the fist if it's all you got. He's running as far away from them as he can. <laughs> Is this going to do something with it? No. To get away. There they are. <laughs> shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Can sneak away from him apparently. He didn't seem to hear me when I crawled. Now my question is where the fuck am I supposed to go? Somebody there will know where they've taken Link. Get to the chapel. But where the fuck is the chapel? Did I miss it? Did I, was it like there where I grabbed the battery? Oh I can crawl over, or I can jump over. Okay, let's do it. Go, 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 go. Will they follow? Shit, I was worried they were gonna jump over with me. Is it too soon to celebrate? Those guys are still in the field. I still don't want to be seen by- OOF! Jesus! Wait, what? Did he talk to me? Jesus Christ, that guy scared the mother! <sighs> what the fuck are you? Fucking hell. That guy seriously almost gave me a heart attack. I'm gonna hide right now. Fucking pissed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, can I open? What the fuck is that? Somebody hang themselves? Oh, that's blood. We're probably supposed to follow the blood. As always in these games, just go where it's not safe and where it looks scary. Maybe there's a way through the barn. Okay. Yeah. Towards the blood, right? Dicks.
can't, he can't see me or? No, he can see me. I'm just not gonna go near that dude. Batteries? Your batteries? Nope. Then I'm up. This does not feel safe. I bet something's gonna be. Aha! That's a pushy thingy. But I cut careful, like I done on the lambs. Got a ladder or something behind it? I'm pretty sure that's a ladder behind it. Okay, so I think we need to go up behind this guy. This guy. I know you was. Yeah, let's go. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Is it a ladder? Is it a ladder? That's a ladder. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thou art Baron, and Baron's not. Go 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 go. No. Oh motherfucker. Oh shit. No. Do it. Yes! Fuck you guys. Did I make it? Can it follow? <laughs> Suck a dick, you fuckhead. Oh, fucking hell. Where is he? Is he there? Can I piss on him? Fucking golden shower from up here, son of a bitch. That's where I'm going. That chain is blinking. That's a dead person. Seeing anybody? Oh, paper. Okay. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. So let's read that. Three more were sent today to live among the scald. Their sores too floored to disguise. They had seven children between them, all whom Papa Noth has sent with the others into my foster care. I now have more than 40 orphans under my wing who love me desperately, as only can a child abandoned by the parents they thought were as natural and dependable a fact as the rising sun. And I love them, as I will never have children of my own and have so much love to give. When God leaves them too, will, I will be there with comfort and guidance. What do these dreams mean? Huh. So who is that from? Oh wait, we had something more to Through that barn. look at. Might lead to the chapel. Jesus Christ. The others call her Marta. Smell of what she burned like coal smoke and frankincense. She is something special, that Marta. I don't know what kind of special yet, but she is something special. It's a chain. Something's bad gonna happen. Uh, yeah. So this is. Oof. Yeah. Ooh, I got the shakes. That was nasty. I bet that would be like. Oh fuck! Oh, oh 
this is ew. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, that can't be healthy. Press B to blow. No H, no H for healing. We don't need no healing. Never mind the fact that we landed in a pile of God only knows what kind of hepatitis. Ah, uh, yeah. And a dead horse. Fantastic. Ugh. Oh, this is this game is gross. Like every now and then, it's just. I mean, they succeeded really well with the, what they were going for. They wanted to create a really disturbing atmosphere. Check, they managed. They wanted to make it really gross. Check, that's managed. They might. They wanted to make it really kind of gory and violent. Check, they managed. The walls have really creepy characters in the game. I have to say, the atmosphere is excellent as far as horror games goes. Really keeps you on your toes. Some of the jump scares are a bit cheap, but this is otherwise great A. Oh, we're getting blood from the eyes, of course. Soul of Christ, make me ready. Father Noth, guide my salvation. Blood of Christ, let me drink your wine. By the severed eye, give me vision. Angel of God, lend me your sword. Kind Jesus, hear my prayer. Heal me in your wounds. Keep me close to you. Defend me from a wicked world. And ready me for the devil's hour. In the fellowship of the temple gate, that I might defend your creation until you give me rest. Amen. Okay, so that's some kind of prayer. Batteries and where I'm gonna run out. Doesn't look like battery area. Oh, light again. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Birds just dropped dead out of the sky. There's definitely something like supernatural going on here. Um, yeah, and I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, do I really? But like, it wasn't super obvious from the start. Like, if you had your mind open, you went in with this, like going like, oh, it's gonna be one of these psycho cult things, kind of like Hills of Eyes kind of deals. Then it wasn't necessarily that obvious. Uh, and a reminder, I haven't played the first one, so I can't. I, I don't know. Like, was that supernatural or not? I, I can't remember. Like, I saw some videos of Just the gameplay. The way. So I kind of knew what the gameplay was going to be like here. But I don't. I, I, did, I never saw enough to actually know the story from the first game. I even. I don't even know if this is related to the first game anyway. Wow, like, the amount of birds that died. Had to have been a really big flock hanging around right here. Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, we need to run up here and then go jumpy jump. I think. Am I stupid? That's not it? Really? You sure? Okay. Certain that's not how you want me to go? Did I get stuck? Nope. Yes. Thank you. Oh, there. Right. Oh, it's a ledge. Wait, wait. Somebody came through here. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <gasps> Battery, do I want it? <gasps> Apparently I did. Thank you. I never <gasps> checked, you know, how many batteries do I have? Can I see them? There's gotta be a way back to the village. Oh great, I have three batteries. 
then in that case I definitely want one of the battery I just picked up. Considering how fast they've run out, three batteries do not seem like much at all. Uh, run jump? Yes. Great caves, into the cave. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Am I gonna have to crawl? Yeah. Oh, this would be a perfect place for like something really up in your face scary. Sliding doesn't count. What? Wait, did it? Oh, holy shit, I didn't even see that thing. That is a big ass effigy. Church. Oh, it's a no, church. No. It's some kind of heretic temple. Oh, so these are the heretics. Well, of course, we're looking for uh, Lynn. And they took her, so. Well, let's see what he says about the dead birds first. A teacher once told me that the music of birds was proof that God exists and loves us. That's ominous. <laughs> he said she did it to herself. He said he was protecting you. Wait, again? He said she did it to herself. He said he was protecting you. What is he talking about? Was that like some Jessica comment thing? Because he apparently has some issues and memories from that time. Well, it's kind of cute. It's like a, a Christian cross and then a Satanist cross. Playing footsies. Um, hasn't been human. That looks like a sheep. Or a goat. Or a battery. Yeah. Wait, you're not interesting in the... Oh, I guess it just belongs to the the effigy in general. He doesn't care particularly for the skull wall. Oh, you grab onto it. They really like to decorate with human, human bodies. Should I say carcasses? That's nasty. Or is it nasty? I can't really uh, mimic Cleveland's voice that well. It's dark. It's very dark. I was thinking maybe I could save some batteries, but... I mean, this is dark. What? 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 No, just leaves. Is that in my head, or... Whoa. That's Jessica. Ah. Whoa, they're, they're not afraid to like... Oh! Nice. Good touch. Good touch, developers. But yeah, that had to be Jessica. Uh, I guess this is a good time to end it. So, this episode we... Uh, watched Ethan die. Got to know 
a little bit more about the freaky axe lady, like the fact that she's super strong. We escaped a bunch of maniacs through a cornfield. We had a vision of somebody named Jessica in a school. Then we found a effigy made by the heretics, and now we're closing in on the heretics. So if I'm not completely mistaken, I bet we are going to see a lot more of the heretics in the next episode. Which I look forward to, because uh, that he-she thing that we met was a really interesting character. I want to see what, where the story goes with that. Anyways, I'm going to end it here for now. So I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Bye.